give your photos a nostalgic look with these three retro photo effects. This tutorial will show you how to create three photo effects using professional, non-destructive editing techniques. You'll learn the Photoshop recipes for creating a printed photo look, a photo effect very similar to the popular Instagram Nashville effect, and a warm nostalgic effect that can give your photos a warm sunset color effect. The first retro photo effect we're going to show you gives your photo the old school developed photo look. It works with many photos and works especially great with outdoor photos. Start by opening the photo you'd like to use into Photoshop. In the Layers palette, click on the New Adjustment Layer button, then choose Levels. Drag the middle input slider towards the left. You'll notice a number changing underneath. When it's near 1.5, you're in the right spot. Next, click on the drop-down menu and select Red. Drag the black and white input sliders towards the center, like this. The black input slider should be around the 40 mark and the white around the 215 mark. Click on the drop-down menu, then select Blue. Drag the middle input slider towards the right until the number changes to around 0.5. Right-click on the layer, then choose Blending Options. In the Blend If area, drag the input slider towards the right. You'll see a number changing as you drag. When this number reaches 94, you're in the right spot. Next, hold down the Alt or Option key, then drag the input slider towards the right. The input slider will split in half and you'll see a number changing. Drag this input slider until the number changes to 127. Click OK to apply the changes. Next, we're going to add a spotlight effect. Click on the new adjustment layer, then choose Gradient. Select this white to black gradient, then set the style to radial and scale to 150%. Enable the reverse option, then click OK. Change the blending mode of this gradient fill layer to soft light, then change the opacity to 50%. We're done! Here's what the effect looks like before and after. The second photo effect is similar to the famous Instagram Nashville effect. If you've never heard of Instagram, it's basically a popular photo sharing app that lets people take pictures, apply filters, and share it to their friends. One of their most popular filters is called Nashville, and we're going to show you how to make this photo effect inside Photoshop. To start, open the photo you like into Photoshop. We're going to be applying four adjustment layers to create this effect. We'll start with the easiest one. Go to Layer. New Fill Layer, Solid Color. A new layer window will pop up. If you don't see this, make sure that you are adding the adjustment layer from the Photoshop menu and not the layers palette. Set the mode to Exclusion and Opacity to 25%, then click OK. For the color, set it to this cyan color, 127 green and 255 blue. Click OK. Next, we're going to increase the contrast using the Levels Adjustment. Click on the New Adjustment Layer button, then choose Levels. In the Adjustments palette, set the black input slider to 50, gray input slider to 2.0, and the white output level to 245. Change the blending mode of this layer to Luminosity. Now we're going to alter the colors in the midtones of the image. To do this, click on the New Adjustment Layer button, then choose Hue Saturation. Set the hue to negative 10 and saturation to plus 50. Right click on the layer, then choose Blending Options. In the Blend If area, drag the white input slider towards the left. You'll see a number changing as you drag. When this number reaches 94, you're in the right spot. Next, hold down the Alt or Option key, then drag the white input slider towards the right. The input slider will split in half and you'll see a number changing. Drag this input slider until the number changes to 127. Click OK to apply the changes. Finally, we're going to give the black areas in the image a blue tint. Click on the New Adjustment Layer button, then choose Solid Color. Set the color to 255 blue, then click OK. Reduce the opacity of this layer to 25%. Right-click on the layer, then choose Blending Options. In the Blend If area, drag the white input slider towards the left until the number changes to 64. Now, hold down the Alt or Option key, then drag the left half of the white input slider to the very left. 
It should detach and give you a smooth blending. Click OK to apply the changes. Here's the Nashville Photo Effect. It's one of my favorites and it works well with almost any type of photo. Just for comparison, here's the effect made in Instagram and Photoshop. The final photo effect we're going to show you is a warm and nostalgic effect. It gives your photo a warm sunset color effect and can even be used to make some daytime photos look like sunrise photos. Here's how to do this. Start by opening any photo into Photoshop. Go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color. A pop-up will appear where you can adjust the settings for this layer. If you don't see this, make sure that you are adding the layer through the Layer menu and not from the Layers palette. Set the mode to Exclusion and Opacity to 25%, then click OK. Set the color to blue, then click OK. Next, we're going to add a gradient fill layer. Click on the New Adjustment Layer button, then choose Gradient. Click on the gradient to bring up the gradient editor. Click the left color stop, then change the color to this. Hue, 10 degrees, saturation, 40%, and brightness, 90%. Click OK to set the color. Click anywhere below the gradient to add another color stop. Set the location to 50%, then change the color to the same color we used earlier. Hue, 10 degrees, saturation, 40%, and brightness, 90%. Click OK. Finally, click on the right color stop, then change the color to this. Hue, 340 degrees, saturation, 60%, and brightness, 60%. Click OK and then click OK again. Set the style to radio and scale to 150%, then click OK. Change the blending mode of this layer to overlay. Next, we're going to add another gradient fill layer. Click on the new adjustment layer button, then choose gradient. Click on the gradient to bring up the gradient editor. Click the left color stop, then change the color to this. Q, 320 degrees. Saturation, 90%, and Brightness, 70%. Click OK to set the color. Click anywhere below the gradient to add another color stop. Set the location to 50%, then change the color to the same color we used earlier. Q, 320 degrees, Saturation, 90%, and Brightness, 70%. Click OK. Click on the right color stop, then change the color to this. Q, 290 degrees, saturation 90%, and brightness 40%. Click OK, then click OK again. Set the style to radial and scale to 150%, then click OK. We're now going to add some transparency to the center of this gradient. To do this, right click on the current layer, then choose Blending Options. In the Blend If area, drag the white input slider towards the left. As you drag, you'll notice a number changing. Drag the input slider until the number changes to 120. Next, hold down the Alt or Option key on a Mac, then drag the left half of the input slider towards the left until the number changes to 50. Change the blending mode to Screen, then click OK to apply the changes. Finally, we're going to use the Levels tool to adjust the color balance. Click on the New Adjustment Layer button, then choose Levels. Click on this button here to switch the panel into Extended View. Set the shadow input level to 10. Click on the channel drop-down menu, then choose red. Set the mid-tone input level to 0.67. Select the green channel, then set the mid-tone input level to 1.2. Finally, select the blue channel, then set the shadow input level to 40, mid-tone input level to 0.3, highlight input level to 230, and shadow output level to 40. We're done. Here's the before and after of this photo effect. Try it out with different photos and let us know how it went for you. Before we end this Photoshop tutorial, we'd like to share with you a Photoshop action where you can easily apply any of these three photo effects with one click. It's a free download and you can find the download link to this in the video description. Download the Photoshop action, then load it into Photoshop. To load into Photoshop, go into the Actions palette. If you don't see this, go to Window, Actions. Click on the Flyout menu then choose Load Actions. Browse for the file you just downloaded, then click OK. You'll get some new actions in your Actions palette. Just open any photo you like, click on the action you'd like to run, and then click the Play button here to apply it. Photoshop will apply the effects automatically for you. If you want to take it a step further, you can also add some light leaks to enhance your photo. 
These light leaks are available as a free download at LomoLightLeaks.com and they make it super easy to add cool light aberrations to your photo. To use these stock graphics, simply open any file you like into Photoshop, then go to File, Place. Browse for the light leak you'd like to use. I'm going to pick this one here. Change the blending mode to screen, then resize and rotate to your likings. Thanks for watching this Photoshop video tutorial. Leave us a comment and let us know how these photo effects went for you. Here's a final recap of the three retro photo effects. Subscribe to us for more great Photoshop tutorials.